Alright ladies and gentlemen, I am on a quest to review every book I own. And one of the books I own is Play With Us by Guy L. Bond. Now, no book is entirely without merit. This is an old educational book. You can see the uh, carpet fish have done a number on it. It would be considered foxed, perhaps a little badgered, maybe even some wolfed. But um, it's a story of several, several children playing. It is designed to shut up my laptop. Shut up my laptop. It is designed, of course, to go out there and teach children how to read. And, you know, there's three children, I think two dogs in this story, and oddly no parents. I find that a little funny. I mean, you can see here you have an older boy playing with a dog and a little little girl that I don't believe is his sister, although the, the art is very similar. There's... Yes. Look at me, said Jane, with her rear end up in the air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to point out here that this book may be an article from a different time when people didn't have as dirty minds. I think this is Cold War era fiction, probably somewhere from the 60s. Ah. Uh, Looks like 1949, so you know, World War II, not 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 that distant of a memory. I guess we didn't have as dirty minds as we do today. And here is this little girl with her rear end in the air, saying, "Look at me." So, yes, play with us. Don't think I'd recommend it. It is beautifully, beautiful artwork, beautifully drawn, beautifully painted, beautifully colored. But from a story standpoint, there's not much there. And you just, you have to ask yourself, these kids look like they're three and five years old. Where are their parents? Did you let your kids play outside in the early 50s without, without, I guess you did. But we don't do that anymore. So this book, a little outdated, maybe, maybe goes in your collection, but I don't know if it would, would be a book you'd want to, want to read to your kids. Anyway. That's my opinion, and I'd love to hear yours down in the comments below. I'm Richard Neal.